Today, Sadia and I are going to be handing out the samosas during lunch break. So the school I'm taking you to now is, is Jago. So they have 290 kids here from nursery up to grade five. Good morning. As you can see, it's all, all with that. <laughs> so the classes are on top. This is the, the, the nursery school. Okay. Everything about this feels like a school. Yes, yes. While Sadia organizes the food for lunch, head teacher Aisha Rahman is going to show me around, starting with the grade one class for six and seven year olds. May we come in? Okay. And say hello to guest. Hello. Yes, say hello, bolo. Poverty and illiteracy are a vicious cycle in Bangladesh. Almost 50% of the adults living in these slums are illiterate. The education that these children are receiving is vital to their future prospects. What is that? Tree. Tree? And what's that? Fish. Fish. Can I see your book? Your writing is very good. You can do English and Bangla. Yes. Bye. The majority of secondary school aged children in Bangladesh do not carry on their education. But schools like this are working hard to improve that statistic. What's your name? Angela. Angela. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah? How are you? I'm good, thank you. Enjoy this class. I enjoy this class very much. What do you want to be when you're older? Uh, I want to be a cricketer. What job do you want to do? You want to be a cricketer? Yes. Professionally? Yeah. What do your parents do? Uh, my father is a shopkeeper and my mother is a housewife. Housewife? Yes. How far do you live from the school? Uh, near. Near? Number two. Somebody else. Take that. Right, good. I I'll leave you to it. I think you want to get on with your work or you're going to get told off. Okay. Bye. Bye. It's so nice to see that they're so engaged with what they're doing. And it means it just shows something's working. You know, these kids are happy and they want to learn. The broad smiles of the children belie the reality of the hunger and disease that they face each day. You're welcome. For many of them, this simple lunch of my samosa, an egg and a banana may be the only meal they have today. Thank you. You're welcome. Hold on, hold on. I've never cooked for a more deserving or appreciative crowd. They are the smiliest, happiest children. I've ever seen, and they're so, you can tell they're so happy to be here. It's really clear to see that just that one meal in the day that they have makes such a difference, not only to their stomach, but also to their general health. The children here have less coughs and colds. They're much more awake, enthusiastic to learn. I feel like I don't want to leave. I feel like I want to go back in the kitchen and make another 300 samosas and do this for a few months. Coming here, I don't feel sadness, I feel hope. Like something's happening. These children live in the middle of these slums, yet they have a place where they can come, they can have a meal, they can learn, and they can walk away, and they have hope. Mm -hmm.